Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you are new, my name is Arina and if you are coming back, I hope you all are doing well at home. So in today's video, I am going to review the Focalore Match Max Baking and Setting Loose Powder. I have two shades. One is in the shade 01 and the other one is in the shade 03. So one of you requested for me to do a test on these powders, a wear test, a flash test and all that jazz. I'm going to try my best to wear this as long as I could today. So if you're interested to know my thoughts on it, keep on watching. So I, I forgot to tell you guys in the intro, I have some of my makeup on. Obviously I haven't said it because I want to test out this powder. And also we are going to continue or finish our makeup together uh, in this video. So I've been testing this uh, powder, especially the translucent one, for the past I would say a week or so. And or actually I included this powder in, in my Janu January favorite toilet alert. So the Match Max uh, loose powder comes in four different shades. I have the shade Translucent 01 and the shade 03 Natural Beige. The other shades are 02 Ivory and 04 Warm Beige. It doesn't go as deep as it should be. Because I have two sh different shades, I'm going to use the translucent one on the areas where I used to highlight such as under the eyes, on my jawline. They are going to bake today and also on the chin and the center of the nose and also on the forehead area and I'm going to use the one that have a tint in it, the shade 03 to buff out the powder and also set the other areas so it says on the back, the super fine weightless powder can absorb oil and reduces shine all day long creating a flawless matte finish with no flashback in photos all over the face to set the makeup now it's 4.10 p.m. I start off really late because I have so many things to do in the morning. So it is what it is. So for the translucent powder, I'm going to use the puff to bake and also set the under eye. And also on the areas where I want to highlight and to buff out the powder and also set my face as well. I'm going to use the puff uh, that it comes with and also the powder brush hand in hand. So I'm going to pick up the powder with the puff. Also this powder have a scent. I forgot to tell you guys that. It does have scent but it's not that strong though. You can only smell it on the first application and it will go away after you buff the powder. It's very very fine. You will have powder flying everywhere. Okay the scent is neglectable. Like right now I can't really smell the scent. Also I did lightly bake here it's not that much powder it's not a heavy bake it's just lightly bake i haven't set certain areas like this part here some areas on my mouth and also on the sides here yet because i am going to buff it out with the shade 03 i think i'm just going to use the powder brush instead of the puff because the puff is quite chunky and it's fluffy but it's not as squishy you know you can't really pinch it very thinly to place it on the narrow area like the nose area here it's nice but i prefer a more flexible and soft sponge so i'm gonna bake for around maybe three to five minutes and then we're gonna buff it out using the shade 03 okay let's buff this face i'm gonna pick up this powder directly from the top to the powder brush it's a bit messy because the holes is larger so this is how the skin is looking so far so good you can't really tell anything wrong with the powder on initial application because it does help to set it takes away the shine and also prevent the cream powder underneath from moving anywhere so far so good and also today I use the Focalore Stay Max Longwear Foundation this is a matte foundation and one of my favorite it does hold my oil at bay up to four to five hours which is incredible for a very affordable foundation and it kind of gives this powder an advantage but we'll see how hopefully this powder will hold my oil at bay long Longer than five hours I will try to wear this maybe around eight hours 
Now it's currently 4.56. I finished setting the makeup around 4.17 and I forgot to update you guys. I haven't finished up my makeup yet by the way. To bronze the face, I'm gonna use Fucalor Sunkiss Monochromatic Blush Tool and this is in the shade 05 Caramel Coffee. I can't stop using this guy. This is the only bronzer I've used for the past 2 weeks or so. Just gonna dip in the matte side. bronzer on and then I'm gonna apply blusher. This one is also from Focalor. I think it's called Sweet Blush or Sugar Broad Blush. This is in the shade CO3. Pretty Coral. If you see any specks of glitter on my face, it's from the eyeshadow I'm wearing right now. It's this green glittery eyeshadow and it keeps falling on my face. And lastly, to highlight my face, I'm going to use Sculpt and Glue Palette in the shade O3 Ipanema Sun Champagne Pop. I'm just going to use the highlight from this palette. I'm not a fan of the contour side to be honest. Applying on my inner corner. Highlight brow bone. Cupid's bow. And of course, the cheekbone. I do have some breakouts on this area. So I'll try my best not to highlight that by applying highlighter above it. Not not on top of it. Okay, this is how the powders looks like. I did set my face using the Smashbox Priming Water to melt that powder down and so that it sits and also doesn't look makeup -y on my skin and this is how it looks like. I really like it. So far so good. I did finish up my makeup around 5pm and now it's already 5.40 so it's been on my face for 40 minutes already and I haven't done much. I only charged my battery because I need to replace my battery with a new one. I don't have a spare battery unfortunately. Because I start off late, I'm only going to do one check-in which is around 12am tonight. I am going to go about my day. I'm going to have my meal and also do something, maybe watch some videos. So before that, I'm going to zoom you guys in a bit. So this is how my skin is looking so far. As you can see, it looks pretty good. I don't have any issue with the product I'm blending on top by the way. I forgot to tell you guys that. And so far, I like it a lot you guys, this powder, especially the translucent one. I do have to update you guys on how it looks like after a few hours, but it does blur my lines. I do have fine lines and it does blur my pores a bit. I, I don't wear any smoothie or pore filling primer by the way. I did wear it with my favorite foundation, maybe that helped. So yeah, we'll come back to you guys at the end of this video. Hi guys, this is my last check-in and now it's already 11.46 So as you can tell, I looked super duper shiny right now And I've been wearing this around almost 7 hours now And uh, even though I have a matte foundation underneath and obviously my oil fit through And I did check around the 5th hour mark My face looked decently matte, it's not too oily, it doesn't look this oily obviously I have bright lights in front of me that sometimes can accentuate the oils I have on my face so I gotta say this powder does hold my oils at bay until around the fifth hour mark around there but it also depends on what foundation you use underneath you wear a dewy or luminous foundation obviously it's gonna get oily quickly but also another factor is what skin type you have it, I have a combination and of course if you have dry skin it's gonna help to mattify your face more so I'm going to just blot this face before I continue with my review. I'm going to use the shade uh, 01, the translucent one, just to my oily parts. I don't think this one is travel friendly because it has a bulky packaging. And I just want to point out, my blusher and my highlighter is still there. Even I've been wearing this for 7 plus hours. And I think my bronzer over here does wear off a bit and also obviously my highlight on my nose also wears off. It mixes with the oil. So I'm going to swatch this powder at the back of my hand. Hopefully you have a general idea on how this powder will look like against your skin tone. 
So first I want to swatch the shade 01. And then we're gonna swatch the shade 03 down here. I also did a flashback test. It doesn't have any flashback at all, thank god. And I gotta be honest, I prefer the shade 01, the translucent one, over the 03, the tinted one, because I feel like this shade is universal. It's not gonna alter the foundation shade you have on, not gonna change the shade. And I think it is super universal. It works on whatever skin tone you have. You can use it under the eyes. You can easily brighten it up using this powder. For the tinted powder in the shade 03, it doesn't add any coverage, it just adds some color on your face. If you want to alter the shade of your foundation or you feel like your foundation shade is too light, I think you can go with this powder. It doesn't add any more coverage, I can confirm that from my experience. This powder doesn't feel cakey or tight, it feels nice and light. And that's it for today's review. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I do a appreciate if you can subscribe because I do a lot of makeup tutorial reviews and hauls. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I hope I see you guys in my next one. Bye. Assalamualaikum.